Hello, my beautiful Scorpios, and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica, and this is Gypsy Capital Tarot. I'm a psychic, medium, oracle, and prophetess. So welcome, welcome, my loves. This is going to be your, well, it's an energy check-in for, for mid, um, it's not right. <laughs> I'm still shuffling. Uh, for mid-May, um, we're just going to see what is going on. We have Mercury, the planet of communication, in its retrograde right now in Gemini. It'll be moving back into Taurus uh, around the 22nd, I believe, of this month. We have Jupiter in Aries, bringing forth expansion, good luck, optimism, all the things. Heartbreak. Are you sad, Scorpio? Why do I feel like separation is like not a thing for you? Um, it's 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 gonna be like stopping or something of that nature. Um, no longer in separation with someone, or you're gonna be like just no longer like alone. I feel this like companionship, this partnership um coming in. So let's just see you guys what this is. Mm, indeed, indeed. Now that we're ready. Seven of Pentacles. Someone is wondering if if they should reach out to you. That's what I'm getting here, Scorpio. Someone is wondering if they should reach out to you. There's lucky shifts happening here. Speaking of Jupiter in Aries, okay? Jupiter is the planet of expansion, luck, uh, you know, um, karma, uh, good fortune, you know, all of that stuff, destiny, fate. So this is about destiny. Um, you know, if you watch my readings regularly, I say like when destiny comes, destiny, destiny is a knocking at your door. And I feel like that's what this is. I feel like literally like you get a knock at the door. This is hypothetical, right? You get a knock at the door, you open up and it's the page of pentacles there with this offer that they've been holding on to, that they've been wanting to give for some time. You see, they've been thinking about this. They've been thinking about this. How do I heal things with Scorpio or how do I alchemize with Scorpio? Um, this person very well could have had one foot in, one foot out. You could have been dealing with a Sagittarius, um, a Leo, an Aquarius, uh, Scorpio. Who are you dealing with? <laughs> Who are you dealing with? We have a lot of earth energy here. Okay. You could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Um, but this person is, this is someone who typically is like very grounded. They're very grounded, very stable, very down to earth. But I feel like when they met you, okay, you could be an earth angel. You could be a light worker, a star seed. But I feel like when they met you, things shifted, things changed. They met destiny they saw destiny and for what i'm gathering about this it, it could have been about the timing between you guys it could have been like divine timing for me temperance is divine timing so it feels like divine timing was off okay um yeah it feels like divine timing was off like you guys were meant to meet when you did but you guys were not meant to come into union fully when you did okay so I feel like you guys have both like had each other, you know, you guys have both been thinking about each other. I do feel like this is very, you know, um, I feel like it's reciprocated. Like it's, you guys both feel this way. Okay. Um, we have the queen of wands, a feminine energy here, very strong, very powerful. Um, she's very beautiful. She's sexy. She's driven. She's a powerhouse. She's, uh, confident. She's brave. You know, she, she walks into a room and she's a bad bitch. Everyone stops and stares. Everyone has to get a look, a glimpse at the queen of wands. Okay. She's an enigma and she's in her like full power. Like she's a badass. Three of wands and then we have the star card showing up there's destiny so this is for me confirmation of a destined connection okay four of cups bottom of the deck very stubborn energy here scorpio this is very stubborn this person has really tried like i'm seeing the seven of wands like resistance Mm. King of Cups and the Hermit Virgo energy showing up. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and then more Earth energy with the Ace of Pentacles. So this is a huge offer here. 444 four, four on the timestamp. This is a huge offer, okay? And the angels, 100,000 angels just showed up with 444, four, four, okay? This is your angels coming through. Spirit, right? The divine going here. This is a gift coming in. 
You're about to be in a really um, committed relationship. I also feel like this is blessings. I feel like Scorpio that for some of you guys, you're waiting on, you know, um, a job offer, or maybe you are transitioning to a, a job, or maybe you're manifesting a pay raise or a new job or, you know, um, a bonus or I don't know, but I feel like this is a shift with the wheel of fortune. This is lucky, stable changes coming in. And it's literally like commitment relationships, uh, it could be like marriage, but this is about stability in your work, um, in your home life and in your finances. Scorpio, I feel like after meeting this person, for some of you guys, after meeting this person and going into separation, it actually sent you into your dark night of the soul. It sent you into your dark night of the soul. Now, this person could have be go could be going through the same thing, right? Um, but this is where you've been, okay? So clarify the hermit and the king of... Yeah, see, look. I was going to say clarify the hermit and the king of cups and it was the chariots. This is victory here. This is you overcoming the battle, overcoming, you know, the darkness and all the things. And now you are in control. Okay. You're totally in control and you're following your, your true north. You're following your destiny. Now the true north, right? Like the, the north star, they say, if you follow the north star, it will lead you home. Right. And I feel like that's what this is. This person is. There's like a light inside of them and this light, it's a guiding light and the light inside of this person leads you, it's, it leads them back to you. So this person is coming in. Okay. This is miracles, wish fulfillments. It's also healing, right? All the stars are aligning here, Scorpio. All the stars are aligning you guys. This, this is a lot of there's been like a lot of time between you guys. Okay. It could be seven months since the last time you guys talked seven, eight, nine months. Um, could be like seven weeks, but I feel like this is like for a lot of you guys, this is months. This is, you know, it, it's been a long time. Six of cups, two of wands. So this is them. You have two and three of wands. So your ships are coming in. Your ships are coming in. Um, I feel like you are in a very vibrant, passionate kind of energy at this time, Scorpio. Like you've gone through this, this hermit energy. It's like coming out and like now you're in this really powerful energy. And I feel like this person didn't know what to do with it. I, I honestly feel like they didn't know what to do with you and your, your power, your, your, your power, your beauty, your enigma, right? Like your, your energy, they just didn't know what to do with you. Could be an age difference between the two of you guys. Maybe you've known each other since childhood. You know, maybe there's children involved. You're a mother, they're a father. I don't know, but there's definitely like children energy here. That's very big, but this is about, look at the emperor showing up. See, there it is, the divine feminine. This is new beginnings, blessings, and, and, and birthing of new cycles. This person views you as a very compassionate, loving person. Like, not only are you powerful and high-vibed and like, you know, all the things you're a powerhouse, but you're also soft and, and magnetic and attractive and like all these other things, right? This person feels like it's time, whatever reason before it wasn't right. The timing was not right for you guys. The time is now right. This person is coming for you. They've made a decision. They've grabbed onto the ace of wands. They're coming in for this passionate new beginning. There could have been a third party in the past. Okay. Maybe they had to clear away energy, do some things in their personal life before they could come forward. Whatever it is, we see that they are stepping out of a comfort zone. They're coming forward with an offer of love. Um, I do feel like they're going to text you. Okay. They're going to like text you and, and, and fill out the water here. Um, how is, how is Scorpio's person feeling towards Scorpio? Knight of swords, impulsive. They want to just come running in. For some of you guys, you know, they, they made impulsive decisions in the past. They acted impulsively in the past. We have two knights showing up here. This is coming in very quickly. Okay, so you guys, we are in the retrograde of Mercury, right? So anytime that a planet is in uh, retrograde, especially Mercury, see, I can't talk because of it. it. Messes with communication, you see? 
Um, and someone comes back from the past, Six of Cups, this is the past returning, um, you know, and this is stuck in the past, not in a bad way. This is, I can't get the past out of my mind because that's where I want to be, okay? It's not, and that's what this is. This person has been in a place of deep contemplation. And the outcome here is that they want to speak their truth to you, okay? It's a victory and a breakthrough. It's a new beginning. It's communication, honest, truthful communication um, that comes in and it transforms everything. See, look at death and judgment. This is literally a rebirth. Uh, oh my God, you guys, this is like the biggest transformation. This person comes comes forward completely different. Like, the, let's say this person, right, King of Cups in the past, they were very reserved. They, you know, it would be like, let's say you opened up and you were like, oh my gosh, like, I love you, you know? And they were like, I care for you a lot. I just don't know. I just don't have the words. Like, I don't, I don't even know what to say. You know, it could have been like that kind of reaction where they like, right? Like, cause they weren't ready to open up. Whatever it was, you guys will know your situation. This is collective, not personal. If you do want to book a personal reading with me, if this is your message, you guys claim it as yours, first of all, by liking the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Ties your energy into any reader's channel. So if there's like readers that you really love, make sure you're subscribed. Do all the things so your energy is really tied in because then we can pull more um, precisely, even though it's collective, on your situations. So again, this person is... It's like they had a glimmer of hope. Like they saw what it was like to like be living life, like feeling totally alive and happy. And then when you guys had this ending, it was like, wah, wah, wah. You know what I mean? Like that. And I feel like this person, that's what they've been thinking about. Like, why, like, why did I do this? Like, why am I stalling? Why did I, you know, but again, divine timing, you guys. So this person wants to communicate. They want a passionate new beginning here. Okay. It's taken a long time to get here, but due to a battle of strength and self-love and, you know, personal power and all the things, this person, whoever it is, and it's possibly both of you guys. I feel like this is both of you guys. You both had to learn more about loving yourself, self-love first and foremost, right? You guys both had to build yourselves back up, okay, in order for this to come together. I'm truly, that's what I'm getting because you guys were both used to deception. See, you guys were both used to liars, People always trying to get away with things, using you, you know, not being open um, and, and, and honest and truthful, you know. Okay, so let's get some romance angels. All right, Spirit for Scorpio before we head over into the extended. And in the extended, we're going to get some messages from your person. We're going to see what it is that they want to say. I will be channeling messages. Um, and then we're, we're going to pull more cards, you guys. We're going to we're going to dive in here. I want to see... I want to see really where this person's headspace is at because if they're coming in during the retrograde, which it does feel like for some of you guys, they will be coming in during the retrograde, okay? Um, this is for mid-May. It feels like you will have communication from them before May for a lot of you guys, right? New love. I said that this person was coming in completely changed. That's what this is. You see the angels, spirit, they've given, this person has had a divine uh, overhaul. They've had a divine makeover, okay? They're coming in with a new perspective, a whole new kind of energy. They want to come in um, and bring a new beginning to this. This person here, he's on his knees with a red rose. He's like, will you accept my rose? Like, will you take me back? Do you forgive me? Can we do this? And all the angels and cherubs around her are going, are you, what are you going to say? Are you going to do it? Are you going to say yes? You know, and she's like, I don't know. I have to think about it, right? But this person comes forward and I'm telling you guys, this is a very solid offer. Very solid offer. Ace of Pentacles. We have a lot of pentacles here, right? We have the wedding here, though. This is definitely marriage. They, they, they desire marriage with you. I'm telling you, you're all the queens rolled into one. Not only are you the queen of wands, but you're the empress. Like, you're a badass. They, they, you're, this, that kind of energy is basically, I won't find another you. And they won't. Engagement. You have wedding and engagement. You guys, this is, this is, a, this is, Signed, sealed, delivered, I'm yours. 
Signed, still delivered. I'm yours. Okay. That's what this is. This person is ready. It's been signed. The soul contract. It's being delivered. And when it is, they're yours. Okay. For yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. That's what this person did, Scorpio. For whatever it is, they had to free themselves from things. They had to, you know, run from things. I don't know. But whatever it is, they've 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 gone through this, like, transformation. They've, they've done the deep thinking. They've done the soul searching. And their answer is you. So they want to come in and give this relationship the chance that it deserves. They want to hold you, lift you up, be with you. Look at that. Spiritual awakening. They see things very clearly now, okay? Um, so heart-to-heart -heart conversations is what's coming in. And express your love. You can't make it up. This person is going to be bold. They're going to make a really big romantic gesture to you. It's going to be full of passion. It's going to be full of, full of um, you know, do you forgive me? And it's going to be full of, can you trust me again? And this chemistry is off the charts. I can't forget you. I got to have you. Okay. So this is what I have for you, my loves. If you want to purchase your extended, click on the link below. If you want to book a personal session with me, I am offering a special right now, you guys. If you follow the channel every so often, I'm guided to do specials um, and it's super random, but like usually it happens when there's big cosmic stuff and things like that. Um, but because of this month and everything that's happening right now, I'm doing a special for three days. So um, it was yesterday. So it's like the 12th through the 13th of May, 2022. So all my readings are timeless. But if you find this video, May 12th through the 15th, and you want to book a reading, okay, it's 55 for a 30 minute reading, and it's 33 uh, for a, I'm sorry, 55 for a 30 minute reading, and 33 for a 15 minute reading, blah, okay, so um, just send me an email, you guys, and we'll get you set up, so if you want to follow me, Instagram, Jips Cowgirl, same as TikTok, um, I think that's it, you guys, all right, namaste, love and light, bye my squirps.